what's the largest animal that has ever lived, and what forces dictate how big an animal can get. Some extinct dinosaurs were incredibly large, larger than any land animal before or since. For instance, Patagotitan Myorum behind me was heavier than 10 elephants. Even then, the largest animal that has ever lived is with us today, the blue whale. Now, it seems like we had a pretty good idea about why animals that live in water can get larger than their land-dwelling counterparts, but a new study suggests that the reasons are more complicated than we thought. To help explain the science a little better, I'd like to introduce Marcy Howdyshell, our director of science content. Marcy, why can animals like whales get so huge? Thanks, Joe. That's a really good question. There are a lot of hypotheses on why aquatic animals tend to be larger than their terrestrial relatives. For example, one predominant theory is that because the buoyant force of water pushing up on an animal counteracts the gravitational force pulling it down, these animals are freed from terrestrial size constraints. Now, while buoyancy is definitely helpful for these large marine animals, a 2018 study suggests that there's more to the story. In this study, researchers proposed an energetic model to explain body sizes for warm-blooded aquatic mammals. This model compares energy intake, the food they're eating, with energetic losses due to metabolism and thermoregulation, or keeping their bodies warm in the cold ocean temperatures. What they found is that rather than just having the ability to be larger, warm-blooded animals actually need to be bigger in the water. This is so that they can retain body heat in low water temperatures. However, the model also shows that these animals are limited in how big they can get. That's because they need to be able to eat enough food to keep up with their energetic needs. So in reality, aquatic mammals are actually both larger on average and more constrained in size than their land relatives. This research brings up a lot of really interesting questions because um, I wonder if these constraints apply to marine reptiles as well. Because some recent fossil discoveries of whale-sized ichthyosaurs, a type of marine reptile, show us that there were some very large animals swimming in the ancient seas as well. Still though, nothing we have yet discovered is as large as the blue whale, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, if you'd like to learn more about dinosaurs, come check out the American Museum of Natural History Dinosaur Gallery at COSI. And if you'd like to learn more from Marcy, check out Science Now, her new video series, starting soon on COSI's social media and YouTube page. That's it for Fossil Friday. Have a great weekend.